Welcome back to the Sick Minds of Matt and Eric. Uh, you should already know who the fuck we are. Uh, today we got a pretty good episode uh, planned. Uh, sorry for Sunday. I ate some raw fish that was bad. So <laughs> it is now Tuesday because I, I wanted to record yesterday. But either way, we didn't even make it a fucking week <laughs> to, to try to record on Sunday. I swear to you, we're not doing this on purpose. I, anyway, I, I, I literally was like, "Hey, so we recorded today." He's, like, I sent her a text early in the morning because I thought I was going to a music festival, but the weather was really bad here, like really bad. Um, my town was under a tornado watch that turned into a tornado warning. Boston was under a flood watch or flood warning. Uh, but I texted in the morning, I'm like, "Hey, man, you awake? You ready to record?" And he's like. I'm sick. I've been throwing up all night. Not happening. And I'm like, I think I sent you that text before I even woke up. Like before you even woke up. Oh, maybe you I, did. I oh. literally woke up in the morning and I just went, nah. And I went back to bed. Because <laughs> Saturday, dude. Okay, so Saturday after you got off, when you were going to the music festival thing at night. Um, I don't know if you went or not, but I was just like, okay, well, I haven't eaten dinner, so I looked in my fridge and I saw that I had like a. Uh, uh, not a sushi roll, but it was it was like salmon with like cream cheese and crab mixed in type of thing, and I was just like, oh okay, I gotta do this. Oh, no, I, I don't know if the fish was bad. I'm also lactose intolerant, so I probably shouldn't have done that anyway. So it, it fucks me up. And then literally, like, I kid you not, an hour and a half in, after I was just like, this is pretty good. An hour and a half later, I was just like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was just, I was like, oh God, I'm going to die and get reincarnated into another world <laughs> I mean, that's with superpowers. Right that's the dream right there. Um, <laughs> Depends on what world. Yeah, that's true. Uh, no, Saturday I went to the Revolution game, the soccer game, and Sunday, so yeah, on Sunday I was supposed to go to a music festival, a sad summer music festival, but the weather was outrageous. And literally every single person, because every time, like, if I'm buying concert tickets, I'm buying two tickets, and then, like, I'll find someone to go with me. Like, that's usually my thing. I'll be like, all right, you know what? I'll buy an extra ticket. If I'm in a relationship, works out. If I'm not in a relationship, I'll just bring one of my friends. I don't give a shit. Uh, so, bought an extra ticket for this one, and asked someone to go. They were in maybe. They couldn't go. Couldn't get the day off. I was like, all right, cool. Then I texted someone who usually is my concert go-to, and she couldn't go. Uh, she was busy until 5, and I'm like, well, the festival starts at 2.30, so that ain't happening. Uh, then I texted my other buddy, who's my other go-to concert person, and he was in New Hampshire for his mother's birthday. And I'm like, all right, so who the fuck am I going to take to this? <laughs> so I thought I found someone... And then they decided that they couldn't go. And then I texted my old uh, my old co-worker from the hotel I was working at. He works overnights. So I'm like, I'll ask him. He'll probably be down. And he was like, yeah, let me, you know, I'll, like, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll probably be down and stuff. He texted him, text me at 1130 a.m. on Sunday. He's like, dude, I'm just leaving work now. So I'm not going to be able to go. So thankfully, I went on the Reddit page. And they had, like, a little thread to, like, sell tickets. And I was able to sell my tickets at face value. So I got my money back, pretty much. Oh, that's so, good. It sucks because I was really looking forward to seeing, like, Taking Back Sunday in the main. But shit happens. I didn't want to be by myself in this shitty-ass weather, especially with flood warnings and potential right. tornadoes right. and stuff. Which a tornado did land in central Massachusetts, which is like the area my town is in so it was like all right cool well glad i didn't do that now so yeah that sucked but like i'm i'm going to so many concerts and music festivals this year so it's just missing one isn't gonna kill me must be nice we're going to the fallout boy concert here in next week mine's in two weeks yours is in two weeks so mine's probably next week then yeah mine's august 2nd which, okay, yeah, that sounds right. Which one but, uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty excited for that. But, uh, on to the main subject. We have now seen every single Dragon Ball movie. 
We have. We have officially... Cause the, and uh, yeah. I'm saying Dragon Ball specifically, and, and it, because I already texted you somewhat of my thoughts on this movie. Uh, so, spoilers for the following movie. Dragon Ball yeah. Super Heroes. Which is now streaming on Crunchyroll, English yes. dub, and all the dubs. So also, it was a pain in the ass to find because it wasn't under like super movies. It wasn't. Under, it was just under Dragon Ball Z movies. I I found it pretty simple because it was like on the head page for me for like a brief second, and I clicked on it. <laughs> oh, see, it was not for me, so I had to go to the Dragon Ball Z page, and now my feed is like, check out these Dragon Ball highlights. Check out these Dragon Ball Z highlights. And like, I've seen all the episodes. Stop it. Stop and if this. I wanted to watch this highlight, I would watch it on YouTube because that's where I usually watch them at. <laughs> I don't watch shit on YouTube anymore. I'll probably watch it on Crunchyroll. Like, I don't know. And watching, trying to watch anime on YouTube now is just like obnoxious. But um, I'm going to give you my general thoughts of the movie before we get into the actual movie. Because it may not be the popular opinion. Okay. I liked it. <laughs> I, I enjoyed when, it. When I saw it released, I, I saw people praising it. Um, so I'm going to be the Debbie Downer here. And I thought it was mediocre at best. I thought it was very mediocre. I thought there was plot holes. It doesn't give us a timeline when this is. Uh, like, we see Brawly, which, which is, yeah, that's cool. He's training. I fucking hear myself again um yeah well get used to it i guess <laughs> <laughs> um we see brawly so like all right cool but we get told it's jiren so i'm assuming it's after the super tournament well yeah it's gotta be after the tournament of power right because everybody's older as well yeah 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 because i uh, was like trunks and goten were older yeah which Still isn't giving us a time frame. Did they just feel like throwing them as teenagers and Pan being I, three years old? Here, oh, man. And then, this... and then, this is the biggest thing that pissed me off. Okay. Uh, they go, Gohan goes, oh yeah, we stay small until all of a sudden we reach a certain limit and we... I mean, Get a so, gross work. Yeah. It's fucking true, though. It's true. Do you remember what happened to Goku? Goku didn't age, right? He was five for for 20 fucking years, it felt like. Until one day, he was just like, Hi, everybody. I'm old now, and I have a kid. Like, what? <laughs> one, one shocking thing at a time, please. They knew him as a teenager, though. At the first tournament. The second tournament. And they knew Gohan as a teenager. But Gohan wasn't born on the second tournament in Dragon Ball. <laughs> so they saw him as a teenager. And he was kind of small then, too. Well, yeah, because he wasn't lifting but 20, 20 he, billion times Earth's gravity. So, so here's my thought on this movie, right? This movie's not meant for us. We're being phased out, right? Like, we're getting old. Let's just face it. The, they're not making things for us anymore, so we're going to have to, like, try to relate to this new generation of anime lovers. Um, but I love the fact that Goku, Vegeta, and, you know, all the god-tier people are not in this. I and, thought uh, it was hysterical that Jiren has a certain type. <laughs> not Jiren, um, <laughs> Beerus. Beerus has a Beerus, certain type. Yeah. Yeah, I was just like, oh, that's fucking funny. Uh, man, some sick burns in this, too. I brought the like the world's strongest fighters in Krillin. <laughs> that line. And was Krillin was like, like, I'm the strongest human, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I brought um, the world's mightiest protectors in Krillin. <laughs> like, fucking Bulma, savage in that movie. I felt like there was just plot holes I've, I've i mean yeah there, there is right but it's not it's this you can tell from the beginning that this movie was meant for kids yeah I didn't, it wasn't I was, like a generic 
Dragon Ball anime fan. It was just, hey, let's try to get more kids to like Dragon Ball Z so they can, like, still collect on the franchise. I mean, Dragon Ball Super did fine. <laughs> Dragon Ball Super was amazing. But it's on a hiatus right now. And honestly, a lot of it felt like this story was meant for a video game. And this is another thing that I, men- I mentioned to you. This would have been an interesting storyline for a video game. Yeah, it did remind me of a video game. Like, um... um with the... Because I know... Because the, the video games are all about the androids. So... The and, and, yeah, androids and time travel. And this felt like a video game. This felt like it was an alternate timeline. Yeah. And Cell and, uh, Max yeah. was a bitch. Also... Piccolo going insane. I'd, oh, uh, Goku and Vegeta wouldn't be able to even. We would still have trouble. I'm like, I'm sorry. Goku has ult- st- st- Technically speaking, if this is future, like far in the future, Goku is probably mastered Ultra Instinct. There's no way Cell Max would have been an issue for Goku. Let alone... Super Saiyan God Goku. Same with Vegeta. And if they brought Brawly with them... Here's here's a couple of things that could have made things better. It, let's, let's leave it as it is, right? Let's say Cell Max was going to be the villain. One, he didn't need to be that big. No. A matter of fact, it would have been more interesting had they recovered a part of Cell. The original Cell. And, you know trained him up or did something to beef him up in that aspect i would have been like oh shit now they're bringing back cell you know what i mean yeah like imagine how they just found an old piece of cell that wasn't regenerating and then they took all the new dna stuff from all the like people that have visited because let's let's see what's happened since then frieza came back to earth turned golden Blew it up. Rewind six seconds. Still turned golden, but did not blow up Earth. Right? So now, Cell has another possible transformation there. Yep. Right? Um, You've got all of the Majin Buu arc. I'm sure Buu has left some pieces of himself somewhere else. He would have been the most unstoppable villain we have ever seen in our life. And at that point, I would have been like, yeah, Goku and Vegeta would have a fucking hard ass time. Because like here's the here's the problem with with Boo. Like we're 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 skipping off subject now, but here's the problem with Boo as a villain. He was so good as a villain that they can't make him a good guy, but they can't really kill him off either. So Majin Boo is there, and every time Majin Boo is about to fight, he takes a fucking nap. That's Literally, that's the only plot armor that the world has. Because Boo can just turn things into candy. Doesn't matter how strong they are. And eat them. And then absorb their power. Do you know how ridiculous that is? It's a forced fusion with anything he wants. Anything he wants. Yeah, didn't they defeat Majin Boo by using the Dragon Balls and taking the evil out of him? Uh, yeah, and that left Fat Boo because Fat Boo was merged with, uh, what's the, the Kai? Supreme the, Kai. Elder Kai? Yeah. Supreme Kai, whatever. One of them. One of the Kais. One of the fucking Kais. One of the fucking Kais. So yeah, you got Boo there, but Boo still has all the abilities of Evil Boo. Yeah. Uh, he's just, uh, he's just a fat kid who likes to eat cupcakes and piss off the God of Destruction, which is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck! I lost my train of thought because there was something I wanted to bring up. Lord Beerus being thirsty, <laughs> especially for Brawly's girl, which is hysterical, hilarious. Like I hilarious. Also, the end, like when Vegeta finally beat Goku and like Brawly and that guy were crying. <laughs> Like, she was like, wow, this was so fucking pointless. And then there's Brawly and the chef from the Frieza Force just, like, bawling their eyes out. Because they're like, this is a work of art. (laughs) 
of that, I love how Weiss go finally notices that his, uh, he was being called, and he, and he was like, you, you got any bit of food for me, Bulba? And she's like, no, we need your help, actually. It was almost really bad. But go thank God Gohan unlocked this Ultra Instinct typed form. Which, I enjoyed that transformation, but I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. Yeah, I don't know what to call it. What the fuck do we call it? Ultra Instinct 2? Also, I'm not calling that Orange Piccolo. <laughs> nah, yeah, I'm not calling him Orange Piccolo. Fuck you, Piccolo. I'm not calling you Orange Piccolo. Also, I love how, like, they made it seem like he was gonna get this major buff, and then he gets his ass kicked by fucking Cell Max. Well, that was the whole thing, right? Like, Cell Max is supposed to be, like, the big bad. I didn't like that he was basically brainless. Yeah. I liked the fact that, like... Well, they did say... L was just so fucking cocky. Well, he, the kid did say that he wasn't finished yet. That's true. So... But, man... I had so much hope for this movie. Like, in my opinion. Like, I had so much hope. And then, just like you said, it felt like it should have been a video game arc. Instead, like... This could have been easily, like part of the uh, Xenoverse 3 storyline. That's this what could have been, like. Or it could have been in the anime, right? It could have had its own arc. I don't know if, like, the power-ups were actually needed. Also, um, also, the fact at the end, they teased, like, an adult uh, Gotenks and then didn't fucking show it pissed me off. I was like, oh, they actually did the fusion dance correctly. We're going to see it. Nope, we just saw the fucking light of the fusion, and that was it. Let's follow Pan flying around. I don't give a fuck about Pan. I wanted to see adult go tanks, and you fucked me over on this. Yeah. It happens. And I, I just, oh, man. It's true. When they're like, he is the world's deadliest people or whatever. <laughs> Mr. Satan's still there. We don't know. We should leave Mr. Satan for last because we don't know what he's capable of. <laughs> like, oh my god. This guy is going to be forever known as, like, the person who saved the world. Which is hysterically the best running joke of all time. He, he reminds me of, um... Have you seen One Punch Man? Yeah, hold on. What? Okay. No, I haven't. Okay, never mind. They won't make sense. There's a person on One Punch Man that has, like, absolutely no power. Um, his name is King. And everybody thinks that he is the ultimate being. Right? <laughs> and they're so scared of him. And the fact is, he is worthless. He has no powers. And he's he bluffed his way to the top, basically. Um, there's an episode where, like, he shows up accidentally to like where these villains are at and they're holding people hostage the villains look over realize it's king and they're like oh no we're like so dead and then they they overact so much they're like they overthink it so much to the point where one of the villains has a heart attack and dies and his partner looks over like holy shit i didn't even see king move because king hasn't done nothing the guy just <laughs> fucking died and he's just like he's as good as everybody says he is oh my god i'm just gonna and he croaks over and dies as well it's it's fucking great uh yeah so that uh, there's another yeah so like that's the running joke this like in that show uh, Mr. Sane's the running joke for ours. Also, I love how they kept calling him Kami. Hey, Kami. Hey, Kami to Piccolo. I'm not Kami anymore. <laughs> okay, King Piccolo. I'm not King Piccolo anymore. <laughs> That's been years. <laughs> I'm not King Piccolo anymore. <laughs> I can ask Fidel to pick you up one of those plushies you like. You know I don't like those things. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he goes to go on. He's like, he's your daughter. She's your daughter. It's your responsibility. Is she? Is this more important than this? He's like, of course not. But you're still on to pick her up, right? <laughs> Yo, at that moment, I realized Gohan is literally taking after Goku. Worst father ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, oh it goes my god! To show, it goes to show all of Piccolo's teachings went out the door. 
<laughs> he still took after Goku. <laughs> Fucking Piccolo is just a glorified babysitter. I will oh say, God. like, I I would love to see Gohan get more... Like, I'm happy he got the spotlight in this. And I would love to see it happen more in the mangas. Um, But, man... Like, I would have loved to see that transformation get, like, a little bit more action than it did. I think... They need to phase out Goku and, and Vegeta. I feel like they need to get to the point where, like, the gods of destruction and the angels go, okay, you have made it to the point where you are no longer allowed to mess with the mortal realm because anything you do has so much ramification that they're not allowed anymore. Remember, like, the uh, the arc where Goku is dead? He's like, hey, you can't interact with the living. And every once in a while, he's just like, mm, but I want to. You know, like, <laughs> something like that. Uh, just to just to get him out of there. Because, like, fuck. Well, they, they kind of hinted at that in the new movie. I mean, you know, he's off training. Like, well, like, they're, they're how... training, and then they're, he was bringing up beings from other, like, uh, universes and stuff. So, you can technically kind of, like, make it a split story where Goku, Vegeta, and Brawly are having to deal with these other universal, like, universe beings that are potentially stronger than them and stronger than Jiren. And then when shit happens on Earth, Gohan has to finally train to be the new Earth protector with Kami King Piccolo. <laughs> I'm gonna say something really, really bold. Why would you say what something if, so bold? <laughs> what if they redid GT? No. Hear me out. Right? No, no, I'm, I'm hearing you, and I'm, I'm still saying no. <laughs> they redo GT, but not the way that they did it. Then it's not GT. <laughs> it's, it's they do GT, but with the kids, right? Have Gohan as the oldest, but even him, he's kind of like not really there. You hold the martial arts championships, but now it's just Pan, Trunks, Goten, and I guess like uh, what fucking what's his, what's the Girl's name, Krillin and Eighteen's kid. Oh, uh, didn't think I. I don't remember her name. Looks like Meryl or something like that. I don't. Yeah. Well, what if they also did? Because didn't Vegeta and Bulma also have a daughter, and we don't see her at all? Yeah. Yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> I love how like I remember that, but everything's been about Trunks. But I'm like, she's also half Saiyan. Why not add her to the story? You can kind of do something along with that, like where she ha she's finally starting to get in has to get involved with all of it. That's something they could do. Yeah, but I'm I'm down for that. It's just another adventure. It doesn't even have to be through space. I wouldn't mind them looking into more of the universes. I wouldn't mind it. Because then they kind of hinted it with the with the space patrol or whatever the fuck they're called. Um. But, yeah, I was there were some things that in the movie I was just like, eh, and eh, they could have left this out. Also, I thought it was hysterical that Bulma was using the Dragon Balls to like de-age herself. <laughs> yeah, I mean it makes sense though. It makes sense, but it it made me laugh. <laughs> Why, you know what she could have just done? And I don't know if the Dragon Balls even have the power to do it. But why not just be asked to be made into a Saiyan? Why? She doesn't want to be a Saiyan. She doesn't want to fight. No, but it de-ages her and makes her age slower. Nah, I think she's got the right idea. She could have just asked for immortality or something. Yeah, but I think there's that. a... I didn't they just like uh I thought they did something with the Dragon Balls where they can't grant immortality, oh, uh, immortality why anymore. Did this just pop up. What the fuck? 
Fuck. What the cats? How they do no, that? like they literally they popped up and then like my menu for like all our podcast episodes just popped up too. <laughs> I was like, what? Are, like, what are we doing here? Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but let's go back to the movie. I I thought it was okay for what it was. It really did feel like a kids movie. It felt like it was just a, a way to grab the younger audience and bring them over to, to, to Dragon Ball, which I'm okay with. I, I understand that this movie wasn't for me because of the animation art style was just not bad, not great. It's no. it's not my cup of tea, right? Like I like the hand-drawn anime style. This was more of that 3D CGI stuff, which works well in video games. And that's why I was like, oh, this is like a good little video game arc. It's like it uh, not having little, to play the game and just watching the call, all the cutscenes. It also had like a, some of the comic book art style too. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. Like when he. Oh, when those, he, yeah, those those freeze frames. Yeah, and then they had the cool. the and the other androids trying to be superheroes. I yeah, love, which, I love their. Uh... Piccolo was just like, "Why can I see his sound effects? <laughs> Why can I see and hear his sound effects? What is going on?" <laughs> I mean, it's all of uh uh hologram every time he punches there's like a kaboom in the background <laughs> i i loved um there uh when android won his reaction to when um gohan like just just hit his uh gun key blast out of like he was just like yeah. out of here. and like his face was like what whoa Bro. Well, not that he, I don't think he was doing that because he deflected it. I think he deflected like he was doing that because like, ah, shit, I can't use this because the people around here would get hurt. I just thought he didn't think he was that strong. And then when he knocked it away, he was like, oh, wow. OK. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of beams in this in this one. Not towards the end. There wasn't. Even in the beginning, there wasn't too many. It was more towards the end when they were fighting Cell Max is when all the beams started coming out. I did appreciate the special beam cannon. I liked it. I would have liked it more if we saw, like, I liked what they did, but I thought it would have been kind of cool because, like, they were clearly st- playing homage to, like, the Cell Saga. That if they did, like, another kind of, like, a father-son, son-daughter... Yeah. Kamehameha Blast, where, like, Goku just all of a sudden, like, in the middle of fighting Vegeta, felt like something was wrong. So, like, I thought that would have been cool if, like, Gohan was just like, give me your power, Dad. Did happen. But, I still want to know what we're going to be calling Gohan's new form. Nothing, because it doesn't exist. I don't think this was canon. Yeah, like, the only movie that's not can- well, one of the I mean, all the movies weren't canon except the Dragon Ball Super movies. Yeah. Unless they're going to link them somehow and say that these are all alternate timelines. All because of Trunks. It's all Trunks' fault, by the way. I, I like how nobody's blaming, blaming Bulma, the, the actual person who built the time machine. It's it's all <laughs> Trunks' fault. <laughs> she, it's just, she could just been like, you didn't have to go. Yeah. <laughs> I just built the machine. You used it. <laughs> It is not my fault. <laughs> um, let's see what else in this movie. Uh, Pam and Piccolo, Piccolo's interactions were great. I really enjoyed them. I I thought it was hilarious when they went to go pick her up at, from school, and he was just like, "Oh, she can sense who I am." Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. And then Gohan had no fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> he had no idea. Like, none whatsoever. He's just uh, like, what the actual fuck? <laughs> I love when he, like, sneaks into the base. And then the guy was like, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, I wasn't feeling well. I was in the bathroom. And he's like, oh, oh you yeah, do look yeah. a little green. <laughs> How yeah. you feel? You look a little green. Oh, <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I'm doing, I'm doing better. I'm doing better. Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing better. If they were to do, well, let's get the ratings out, and then we'll discuss more about just Dragon Ball in general. Uh, so, what are your ratings for this? Um, 
I'm going to have to give it a fair rating. I'm going to say it's a 5 out of 10. See, I thought you were going to give it a little bit higher, and that was going to be my answer. <laughs> no. It's a 5 out of 10. It is literally, I enjoyed it for what it was, but I also went into the expectations thinking that it was going to be shit when I saw it. See, I wasn't because most Dragon Ball, Ball movies are pretty damn good, especially recently. So I'm like, you know what, I might not like the art style, but like, I'm expecting this still to have a really good storyline and this is going to be really good. That's not what happened. Um, it was very weak, in my opinion. I think it was a weak installment. I think it should have been a video game or a video game DLC and not a movie. So, since you gave it 5 out of 10, I'll give it 4 out of 10. <laughs> 4 out of 10? Damn. Like, Well, my original rating was going to be 5 out of 10, and you were like, I like it and everything. And so I'm like, oh, he's Well, I mean, yeah, it. but we can like, both give it a 5 out of 10. I'm, I'm like, not saying it's the best Dragon Ball movie ever to exist. That's it's not. That's not true. Right, there's definitely more, but there's some bad. There's some pretty bad ones. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, um, five out of ten. <laughs> do you think we're gonna be seeing the 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 first arc in Dragon Ball Super after the Super Tournament be animated anytime soon? I don't know. I don't know if they're going to do Moro. I don't know if they're going to do something else. Um, I want them to do Moro. Right? But at this point, we already know what's going to happen, so I kind of want them to do... I don't know what they can do. I really don't. Tournament of Power was such a good place to stop. But there was no villain. It's kind of weird, right? It's kind of weird having... Well, there was a villain. Who? There's no villain. Goku, Goku wasn't the villain. It Goku was gave everybody the this, chance. It was Goku's fault for this tournament power to happen. Yes. But th here's what nobody's like realizing, right? Goku is the reason the whole tournament of power is happening. However, that tournament of power is the only reason that all of the universes survived. Because they were just going to get rid of a few. They were just going to take the lowest ones and get rid of them. And it was his idea, like, well, why not hold a tournament? And then the person who wins gets a wish. And then the fucking wish was like, hey, how about none of this fucking happens? Yeah, but he also brought back all the universes that they destroyed. As far as we know, yes. But how far back can that happen? Like, did, like there, there was another thing, right? Like, all of the universes, so all the universes before the tournament or all of the universes within the tournament. And, and if, if it's all of the universes before the tournament, that means Zamatsu's back. See, I, and, I, there's so many potential storylines he can go with if he wanted to. Zamatsu? No, just like bringing all the universes back before the tournament and everything. Yeah. So they, like, they could so story do a bunch of stuff. Yeah. They could do a bunch of things. So I don't know what I want them to do. I want them to bring it back, right? I really enjoy Dragon Ball. So I feel like if they brought it back and they just did Moro until they figured out a, like their own thing, I'm okay with that as well. Um, we didn't pick up any new allies in Moro, did we? No, just yeah. that Goku learned because there was there was Goku and then the angel that was in Go uh, with Goku. In yeah, the, that was training him, training him. Yeah, and which was like a big no no, and he dies, right? Yeah, so. he dies tomorrow, which kind of sets Goku off. Oh, that's another thing. Oh, I don't think he go he dies tomorrow. I think he just dies because he broke the the rules. He broke no, the thought, rules I and he's like, "Hey, he I gotta go." To Morrow, but was no, he was not was allowed to interfere. And then that's exactly what he did: was he interfered? So the other angels were like, "We told you not to," and then they they got rid of him. That's a storyline they could do. Yeah, where Goku's had it, like Goku finally snaps. <laughs> Uh, go after they, the they could do that, right? Like they they try to do that with Goku Black, but what about like uh, 
this whole universe thing. What if like some weird vortex or wormhole thing opens up and he gets shot out and bumps his head again and loses his memory again. He completely forgets about the the Z fighters and, and, and then they meet up Kakarot. with him and, <laughs> and, and now he's, Oh yeah, that. And now he's back on a, like a fucking world conquest and he's conquering worlds for Frieza of all people. It can fucking happen. And I like how every Frieza race is evil. <laughs> it, it's just it, it's just not like, okay, <laughs> maybe, maybe Frost. No, not a single fucking one of them. All of them are evil. <laughs> fucking wild. I love how, like, in Universe 6, they're like, yeah, all our Saiyans are alive. Yeah. Yeah, no, we're all good. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> what we, we all became, like, police fighters and stuff. What? <laughs> And Vegeta, Vegeta and Goku were like, what? <laughs> yeah, all, all of ours died. We're all dead. Yeah. I like how... You know what? Are they ever going to mention that it was Beerus who gave the orders to destroy planet Vegeta? I forgot. You forgot that. about that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, they, they they've been doing stuff with Bardock and everything. I do. I still want something to happen where Bardock comes back to life. I'm done with Goku. I'm done with Goku. I'm done with Vegeta. I'm not, but that's because they're like my favorite characters. <laughs> yeah. I need him to take a side character role or open up a dojo and, and train other people or do something. Or you could do I don't know. It was just kind of weird not having an actual villain, right? Like, no one actually trying to kill all the angels or uh, kidnap Zeno or do I something mean, like that. Like, like, no one can kidnap Zeno. He's the most powerful being in the universe. Yeah, but he's he's also very childlike. So what about just manipulating him into doing whatever they will oh, they want? That's true. Um, so I mean, there there's so many ways that you could like do a really good villain esque thing. Like it, they don't even have to be stronger than Goku. They could be weaker than Goku and just a completely mastermind when it comes to like combat stuff. Think about the whole manipulating Zeno thing. You don't have to be strong for that. And then if you try to, like, fuck with this guy, Zeno is, like, he just happens to always be near Zeno. And Zeno is going to look at you like you're the bad guy for attacking this guy. He's got the ultimate protection, and he's got Zeno in his pocket. And now it's like a detective thing to prove that he's the bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. You know you can, you know you brought it up. You brought like GT up. You, you don't call it GT though, because GT has a bad stigma. Yeah, right. What, you call what it you TG. Do, what, what you can do <laughs> is like you can keep Dragon Ball Super as the main canon, and have Goku, Vegeta, and say it'd be like a Goku, Vegeta, Brawly, and the Gods of Destruction kind of show, where it's like all about them. They're like stuff is happening in like the multiverse or the uh, the multi universes and everything, where they have to go and do stuff, and then you can have the be the the other series be called like Dragon Ball Z Fighters or whatever, where shit is still happening on Earth, people are still invading from other planets, and they're the people are getting more powerful, so it's forcing Gohan and Piccolo, Android eighteen, Android seventeen to start training and like Goten and, and Trunks have to start training and shit to make sure that they can defend their planet while Goku and Vegeta are technically we could just say being trained to take over the God of Destruction and Angel roles. That's something you could do. Because they're always away from Earth and then they're not going to be there in time unless we happens to be near the communicator on his fucking staff. I also just want to 
super to continue because obviously there's other universes that are stronger and I want to see those fights. But there has to be a bad guy. Having a Dragon Ball franchise without a bad guy and have it just be tournament after tournament. And you can even be like the bad guy in a tournament. Yeah. You, well, Frost kind of was a bad guy in a tournament trying to kill everyone. I mean, yeah, like, but like... Asterisk, right? Like, it, there was no actual threat there. Yeah, he he's weak compared to Frieza. Right. Having Frieza win the tournament could have been interesting, but then all of the universes would have gotten wiped. Yeah, or he would have made himself, like, as strong as Zeno or something. I don't know if the Dragon Balls have that kind of power. Also, who made these Dragon Balls? Yeah, who the fuck made these Dragon Balls? First off, who was like, we need Super Dragon Balls? Alright, so how big are we making these ones? Well, you They're know, the, the size first... of a universe. <laughs> well, see, here's the, thing. here's the thing. The first ones were the size of a pin bowling ball. Ten pin bowling ball. Or candle pin bowling ball. That's what I meant to say. Then the new ones from Nip Namek. Now, we're talking ones, about those, big those ones. Those were those are some big motherfuckers. Those are like a basketball, but they're heavy, wicked heavy. The so next size up ones, though, these ones, planets. These <laughs> ones. So let me tell you, you can't miss them. <laughs> you can't fucking miss them because the miss balls them. on these dragons. <laughs> because if you miss them, you're a blind motherfucker. These are well, I mean, honestly, guys. they were so big that they just fucking missed it. They were just like, oh, we didn't know. Oh, we didn't just know an this orange planet, planet was a fucking <laughs> Dragon Ball. This planet, this orange planet, we're not, we can't, we can't live there. There's no life form on it. Well, maybe, maybe the, can you imagine if there was a life form on one of those Dragon Balls and then all of a sudden you get a wish and then they just Dragon fucking Balls. disperse? <laughs> <laughs> what if, like, what if all the Dragon Balls had the home, like, the Super Dragon Balls were the homes of all the dragons? I mean, okay, well. <laughs> you just see. Yeah, who you made just, these Dragon Balls? You just see. Who made Sh these Dragon Balls? You just see Shenron just, like, floating on uh, <laughs> on one of the Dragon Balls, and, and Goku's like, Shenron, is that you? Oh, Goku. It's you again. Did you die again? <laughs> So, like, the the Namekians made the Earth Dragon Balls and the Namekian Dragon Balls, right? And clearly they can modify them. What if one of the Gods of Destructions was a Namekian? And he came up with all the Dragon Balls. And came up with the Super Dragon Balls. I don't think a God of Destruction can have that kind of level of, like... Because they'd have to be close to Zeno level. If it can... If it can what if literally Zeno? undo a Zeno wish, think of how strong you have to be what? to undo a universal destruction person. What Who's if... about Zeno? What if Zeno is just a kid what? and what not if... actually the supreme thing? What if before Zeno, the thing that what the supreme being was a Namekian? And this then really high ranking in the Nakian. Yeah, and he was the one that created everything. And then Zeno was born from some being and then just snapped his fingers and killed the Namekian. A, like a, a god of creation? That's yeah. what the like the uh, Kai's are supposed to be, right? So like for every god of destruction there's a Kai and they're linked, and if one dies, the other dies. How did Beerus not die? His Kai's still alive. Supreme Kai died. No, the Elder Kai. Uh... <laughs> That's why he's always just like, stop doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> stop doing shit, Elder Kai. I can't afford you to die. <laughs> See, that goes on to another point, that the, the Kai's should be strong, powerful fighters, in my opinion. Uh, but... Well, they create... The God Destruction destroys, right? So... I feel like fighting is a destruction type thing, while creation is not necessarily fighting. I feel like they should have, like, ultimate healing abilities. Yeah. 
oh, you lost all you, all you have left is just your torso? I got you, fam. I'm just going to re-bring your body back. <laughs> so, well, you, know, you know what? That This should be a question for the viewers. Who created the Super Dragon Balls? Or who do you think created the Super Dragon Balls? Because as here it's we... Ariyama and his infinite fucking okay, plot Okay, first holes. off, guys, that, that's a... Okay, first off, his plot holes are nowhere as bad as the creator of Naruto, okay? <laughs> his that is of... not true. That's not true. He just forgets stuff now. I mean, he forgot Why was about... Gohan the only half Saiyan with a tail... I mean, Goten, Goten had a tail. It was a drama with one. I'm pretty sure, like, his excuse was saying that they they cut it off or whatever before. Yeah, they... early, right at birth. No, 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 no. None of that giant monkey thing, even though <laughs> no, we don't no. have a fucking moon anymore. Because Goku destroyed it, right? <laughs> Goku destroyed the moon, right? Yeah. Uh, or was that... Who? No, everybody no, has was... destroyed the moon. No, everybody was, um... has destroyed the moon. Master Roshi destroyed I was the moon. Say, Master Roshi was the one that destroyed the moon. Yeah, Piccolo, I think, destroyed the moon. Fucking Vegeta made a moon and then destroyed that. <laughs> so like, so we we have the Namekians made the Earth Dragon Balls and their own Dragon Balls. So who created the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Balls? I like how he was, uh, when he's just like, I didn't know I could do this. Like, well, yeah, you did leave Namek pretty early. <laughs> <laughs> Which goes back to the part where it's like, so you're Kami. <laughs> Here you go, Kami. It's just Piccolo. All right, King uh -huh. Piccolo, just Piccolo. <laughs> I haven't been King Piccolo in a long time. I didn't learn this when I <laughs> I didn't know about this. <laughs> and it's like, uh, so are you Kami now? <laughs> oh, it reminds me of this uh, different show. It, I think it was like a comic book panel or whatever, where some robbers, it's a DC comic thing, some robbers kidnap Lois Lane, and they brought it back to uh, the Penguin because like they were working for the Penguin, or Oswald Co uh, Cobblepot. And he's like, hey, uh, we ran into some trouble in the, the bank or whatever, but we got all the money and we had to take a hostage. And he's just like, you what? And he looks over and he realizes it and it's Lois Lane. And he looks at the robber and he looks at Lois Lane's and he's just like, I am so sorry about this. We're going to return this money right now and uncuffs <laughs> it because he fucking knows that Superman <laughs> is on his way and he wants fucking nothing to do with it. He's just like, Batman, maybe. Superman, no fucking thank you. <laughs> oh, it was, it was fucking great. But yeah, I, uh, I discovered that my display port cord, it, 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 it's toast. Thankfully, the port I have, itself? Not the port, the, the, the cord. The other cord. Yeah. Well, that I, sucks, man. Some cords kind of... Well, well, I mean, the good thing is I have three monitors, so... I gotta, I yeah. gotta, I gotta be a dweeb right now and wait until I get my third monitor back. Uh, yeah. If you do decide to go display port again, you can... Um... To be honest, I don't think this uh, graphics card comes with an HDMI port. No, it's all display port now. I would get the gold, gold plated uh, Display Port ones. Um, I bought one off of Amazon. It was relatively cheap. Um, well, you got to make sure that it also, like, it's one point four. I think is the highest, or two point oh. Two point oh is I believe the highest, but nothing uses it yet. Um, I, it's a one point four. Okay, one point four is fine. This is what I bought. Okay, yeah, yeah, that will work. 144 hertz. Yeah, my monitor is yeah. 144 hertz, which means I'm probably going to have to switch display port cords <laughs> once it comes in. That's yeah, fine. Uh, uh, but, but yeah, I, I, um, uh, my LG monitor, I was like, fuck, my LG monitor shit the bed. And I'm like, you know what? Let me let me switch the display port cords real quick. Isn't your LG the uh, your like oldest monitor? No, I think my Samsung is. Is it? Yeah. yeah, and then I didn't like the quality that I was getting from the Samsung, and then when I went to Best Buy, the LG monitor was open box. 
and it was the same LG monitor that you had, and I fucking loved that monitor. So I was like, I'll just get this one. And then I bought my monitor. Was monitor was really good. And then I bought I my just gave monitor. it to, uh, well, to Rebecca's brother. He was needing a monitor, so we just gave it to him. Yeah, I, um, and then when I was living at my studio apartment, I saw a Predator monitor, pretty, like, at 4K, 144 hertz, and, it, and like, a 2MS on it, and I was like, oh, this is really good, you know, and I'm like, I, I love my LG monitor, but I could definitely go for an, a better monitor, and it was only, like, 550 bucks on Amazon, and I was like, I'll buy it. Yeah. Remember That's the issues we were purchase. having with it, though? <laughs> Remember when I, I first got it and we were having issues with me getting it up and running? Uh, I mean, that's uh, any new technology. But honestly, now that you've seen 144 hertz, you can't go back to 60. Like, you just can't fucking do it. That's why my LG monitor is just for like, watching videos, I'm at to, the, to be honest. I'm actually at the point where if I got a game that won't run at 144 hertz at native resolution, I will drop the resolution to get that extra frame rate. I won't, because I just love seeing the beautifulness of the game. Uh, if it's a high, like, action-packed game, you really can't tell the difference. Especially with the way that they do, like, DLSS and everything like that, the upscaling technology is fucking ridiculous. I can tell you right now, once 16 gets on the PC, if it does get on the PC, uh, I would be able to tell the difference. <laughs> Oh, God. That, I need to well, continue playing that game. That's our thoughts on Dragon Ball Super Heroes. Well, uh, let us yeah, know what so you think about it. Let us know what you think about it. Uh, who do you think created the Super Dragon Balls? Do not say Kira Toriyama. That is cheating. I want your theories, your ideas. You leave them in the comments. I, I want to know. I want to know. And I'm actually going to promote this episode. I didn't promote the last episode. <laughs> so... I'm going to actually post this on my Twitter. I'm going to post this on my Facebook. Post this on Discord servers that I can post it on. I want to know your thoughts on this. Bitch. Jesus. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, what are going to say? Be excellent to one another. And party on, dudes. Have a great fucking week.